Hey everyone, me again. Welcome back to Ex Amelia X. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do reverse nail art stamping and it is a lot easier than you might think. So we're going to start with a normal gel manicure. You're going to pop on your base coat, your two coats of your colour. I'm using this lovely taupe as a base. Cure it and then top coat and wipe clear. We want a full gel manicure before we even think about stamping on the top because then if we make any mistakes, you can just wipe clean. Next, you want to pick your stamping polishes, stamper and the plate. There are so many out there to choose from. I like to use a big square one because I've got quite large nail beds and it allows me to pick up a big design. Now this is a more advanced stamping tutorial so we won't go into the basics of how to pick up your design but if you'd like to see one of those videos leave me a comment down below and I'm sure I can put one together for you. I'm using a black outline today because I just think it stands out really well when you're reverse stamping because we're using lots of different colours so we just need a nice clean line. So while your outline design is drying on the stamper, we can blot out the different colours of stamping polish that we'd like to use. I tend to pop mine on a little piece of tin foil because it's super easy at the end to scrunch it up and throw it in the bin. Okay, so now we're going to fill in the design on the stamper using a very, very fine nail art brush. I tend to gently dab my colours on so as not to disturb the black colour underneath. Even though it's dry, it can still be scraped off if you're using a hard nail art brush, for example, or pressing too hard. So the colour that you put on first will be the colour that sits at the top of your design when we flip it round because we're doing this in reverse remember. So as you can see here I put the white dots on so that means as soon as that white polish is dry I can paint over all of it with the gold and the white dots will still be there when we flip it onto the nail. Reverse stamping always looks so messy from the back but once it goes onto your nail it will all work out I promise. Make sure it's touch dry and when it is you can firmly press your stamp onto the nail rolling from side to side to make sure all of it transfers and gently take it away. There we go. Make sure you pat down the sides of the design to make sure it's stuck to all of your nail and then gently clean up the edges with acetone or nail polish remover top coat, cure, and you are good to go. Told you it was easy.